What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a video tutorial on how to install the paintball mod Shoot Your Friends for Minecraft on your Mac. Okay, so before I get into this tutorial, you're going to want to force update your Minecraft. The reason I want you to force update your Minecraft is so if you're like me and you have any other mods installed, you are guaranteed that this will work with no other issues. So you're going to want to open up your Minecraft, go to force update, hit done, and log in. Because the reason I'm doing this because you don't know if the paintball mod that you're installing is compatible with any other mods that you had in the past. So that's why I'm doing this. Now hold on guys, give me one second here. With this mod, you're probably going to want to want too many items as well, so I'm going to download that in this installation tutorial as well. Because it is just something nice to have. Okay, so once it's done for us updating, you can exit out of it. And let's get into what you're going to need for this tutorial. So, too many items, not at all mandatory, but just personal preference, I would love to have that, and I'm going to get that. You're going to need the paintball mod, vanilla files, which I'll show you in a second. You're going to need audio mod from down here. And you're also going to need Universal Forge. So let's get into downloading those. Alright, so the paintball mod, you're going to want to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, until you see downloads. Click vanilla files. It's going to take you to add fly. Don't wait. Just, well, yeah, you have to wait, but do something else while you're waiting. Go to audio mod and download that. All the links are in the description, by the way, guys. So you're going to want to download audio mod like I just did, and then you can come back. Oh, and look, ad's already done. You skip that ad. You can go back. Oh, rats. Sorry. <laughs> and then you're going to want to go to the forge link, and you're going to want to go to download direct, recommended, universal. Now, guys, don't think I'm just, I, I love supporting these guys, but just to keep the video running fast, I'm going to download all these directly instead of using AdFly links if I have an option. And then for too many items, download it as well. It's unfortunately another AdFly link, but you know what? You got to support them. And you can exit out of everything that you're done downloading. So you do not need to download too many items, but I want it, and I'm selfish. Okay, so once you have those three, optional four, holy files downloaded, you're going to want to get them on your desktop by going to Finder, Downloads, and drag those four things onto your desktop and cleaning them up. So they're all kind of in order here. Um, once you have that, once you have those on your desktop, we can sort of get into installing them. Now let me just say before I continue, this mod can be a real pain to download. So you're going to have to pay close attention, and I'm going to try to be as illiterate and as perfect in, in telling you how to install it as possible. So please bear with me. So let's get into this. You can minimize Safari, exit out, doesn't matter. And what you're going to want to do, ignore that, is um, click Go up here. So click somewhere on your desktop and hit Go. Go to folder, and you're going to want to type in the squiggly symbol in the top left of your corner under the escape key, backslash library with a capital L, even though I don't think it matters, but put a capital L because it works for me. And hit go. Once you're in your library folder, you're going to want to go to application support, then you're going to want to go to Minecraft, and into your bin. Then you're going to want to right click on your Minecraft.jar and open with the unarchiver. I pronounced that right this time, folks. Um, and then you're going to want to extract it anywhere you can find it. So I'm going to extract it to my desktop because I know I can find it. And as you can see, it popped up on my desktop. I'm going to drag that in there. And I'm going to get the Minecraft.jar, which we just archived. And you're going to want to trash that because we don't need that anymore. And then you're going to want to go into your Minecraft folder, which you just created. And you're going to want to go into it, and you're going to want to locate the meta imp folder. You can find the meta imp folder by clicking on any class file and just typing in meta imp. Once you find that folder, you do not need that. So it's good practice to recycle that, baby. Once you have that recycled, this is where things get frustrating. I prefer you move this to the furthest corner you can and shrink it up, because you don't need that much space. And then you're going to want to open up Minecraft Forge Universal. 
and you're going to want to go like that. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to arrange by kind. Now hold on. I don't know if you're like, oh no, but I don't have that. If you don't have that, you're probably not running Lion or Mountain Lion, and there's another way to do it. Maybe you can right click and click Arrange, just keep trying. You can even look it up on Google, but that's all I know. I'm not a Mac genius. But that's the best I can do for you guys. You're going to want to arrange that by their kind. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. All the way down. Until you get to the documents. And you're going to want to hold Command on your keyboard. And click on every file from here down that end with dot text. Hold command. Okay, credits dot text. Scrolling down, scrolling down. License. Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge. Boom, boom, boom. Drop those right into the garbage because you do not need them. Actually, you don't not need them. You can't have them in there. You have to get rid of those. If you want to read them, fine. Save them on your desktop and you know spend your life reading those. That's totally fine. I couldn't care less. But you cannot have those in here when we code to install. So now what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way back up to the top. And go into Paul's code. Wait, no, don't go into Paul's code. I'm just kidding. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Minecraft folder and find Paul's code. Because there's another one. I know. Go into Paul's code. Go into sound. Go into codex. And stop. Open up audio mod, which should be on your desktop and do the exact same thing that I just did. Go into Pulse Code, go into Sound, go into Codex, and get this class here, copy that, and paste it. Once you've done that, you can go back into your Minecraft folder, scoot your way on back, and find Pulse Code, and you're going to want to drag that in here, and replace. Once you did that, I know that was a little confusing, and but that's what you got to do. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to highlight every single file in here by going Command A and then Command C because you want to copy them. So they should all be highlighted and copied. Go into here and hit Command V, which pastes them. Click Apply to All and hit Replace All. Once you have done that, you're done with this. So you're going to want to go back. But wait. Right click on the Minecraft folder that you created about two minutes ago. Click Get Info. Go to Name and Extension. And add the extension dot jar. And hit Enter. And hit Add. Now you're done with your bin folder. And you can write, or no. You, yeah. Then you want to go back to your Minecraft folder. Right click and make a new folder. Name that folder Mods. M-O-D-S, excuse me. It has to look just like that. I'm OCD and I like everything capital, like the M to be capital, but you have to do lowercase M. It has to look just like that. I can't put enough emphasis on that. Then go into that folder and stop. Exit out of your Minecraft Forge Universal, because you don't need it, and go into the vanilla files. Then go into the paintball mod or just, no, don't go into it. Find it, and then copy it. The paintball.zip. Copy that. And paste it in the mod mods folder you've just made. And you're done. You've just installed it. I hope. We'll find out right now. But that should have worked. And we'll see if it worked for me. So you're going to want to click on your Minecraft, open that up, and log in. This should pop up and do a bunch of its funky witchcraft business. You should get to the Mojang screen and pray that it doesn't get stuck. Oh, go into mods. Oh, wait. Hold on, guys. You know what? No, that doesn't really matter right now. As long as this works. But I wanted single player commands, but we'll do that another. I mean, too many items. But I might do that if this works. So let's create a new world. Let's put this one on creative. And yeah, that's all we need. Create new world. Oh. Oh. Please work. You just gotta pray that it works it'll do this. Oh, and it worked. Oh, sweet. Jesus, it worked. You have no clue. Like, w when it gets past there, you, your life is just flashed before your eyes. Like, I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, this is like my fourth time trying to do this. Because I'm dumb and can't do it my first time. But, oh, it worked. Oh, I'm so happy right now.
This is, this is just exciting, folks. Okay, well, bottom line is, it should have worked. If you followed my instructions. Because I just did it, you just saw it, and it worked. If it didn't work, please don't just dislike the video, because it didn't work. Ask a question in the comment. I will respond within a day if it's not in the FAQ and trouble troubleshooting section in the description. So check that if you get any errors. Like I said, though, the most complicated part is the Minecraft Forge setup thing. And make sure you delete that meta inf. Okay, so let's kind of get into a mini review of the tutorial. So my favorite color is green. So I'm going to grab some green. I'm going to grab me a green helmet. I'm going to grab me green chest plate. Hold on. Uh, green legs. And where's the other green? I need more green. Oh, wait, I'm missing something. Oh, I'm missing the boots. How dumb. Um, and then, hold on. Ah, that's how you do that. Okay, good. You're going to want to put that on. Oh, wait, you can just go like this, can't you? Yeah, okay. So you go like that. There you go. And I'm going to also grab me some weapons. Some weapons. Grab myself some paintball pellets. Oh, wait, that's not what I want. No, stop. Stop. No. Okay, whatever. It's creative, so you have unlimited, don't you? Pistol, shotgun, a rifle, and a sniper. Mm, whatever. A noob tube. Some Call of Duty terms there. Um, I guess that works. Yeah, that works. I'm also going to want to go, I think it was up here. Miscellaneous? No, no, no. Ah, Instabase. These are very fancy. So let me just show you what this Instabase does really fast. I don't know if you've ever used a mod that makes houses instantly, but same concept. Ready, set, go. Oh, yes. Oh, well, that was dumb. Pretend I didn't do that. But bottom line is, it's a base that... What am I wearing? I'm wearing all green. That's probably because I broke that door, so the whole base is now defective. So, just ignore that. That was, that was me being stupid. I told you, I'm not very good at reviews. That's why I just do the installation tutorials. Because I stink at reviews. Why? Why? Why does this game hate me? Okay, well, whatever. Ignore that. But, bottom line is, you can shoot a gun. That's all I hope you're here for. Because that's why I'm here. And, I... Yeah, I mean, all you can pretty much shoot is animals and stuff. Because you're not in a server. But, if you were in a server, which I may make a tutorial on how to do that later. Hey, look, it's the other one. Uh, you can make a, you can shoot your friends, as the mod says. Look at that. Boom! See that quick scope? Boom! See that quick scope? Boom! Yeah, this is why I play Minecraft. Whoa! What is this on? Oh, let's get our sniping on. So pretty much, guys, this is just a lot of fun. Like, I could do this for days, because I'm a very boring guy, and it doesn't require a lot to keep me busy. And I don't know if you guys have ever played a game, like Call of Duty, not to nerd out here, but this game also has hit detection or hit markers. So when you shoot something, if you look in the top right of my screen, this little color wheel will pop up when I hit something. That's how you know you've hit someone or something. Um, there's a lot more to go into with this mod, guys, but that's why, not why I'm here. I'm here to show you how to install it, and hopefully you're having as much fun as I am right now playing with the mod. So I really hope this mod tutorial worked for you, and if it didn't, please look in the description and leave a comment if nothing helps you. And I really do want to help you guys because this mod is it load of fun. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope this tutorial did help once again, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right, guys. Peace. Hey, guys. If you're still here, maybe you're interested in checking out my previous video, which is a mod installation on single-player commands for 1.3.2. Um, if, you if you're new around here and you want to see my other mod installation videos, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right, and a random video is that question mark right there. Thanks, guys.